Hey guys, welcome to Arihant Online Academy. In this video, we will discuss about Prim's algorithm. So, what are the properties of Prim's algorithm? How to solve the graph using Prim's algorithm? And the basic goal of Prim's algorithm, right? So, let's start. Basically, Prim's algorithm is the minimum spanning tree algorithm which uses greedy approach to find the minimum cost spanning tree, right? So, suppose we have given a graph and from this graph, we have to derive a minimum spanning tree which should contain the minimum cost. Basically, MST will contain minimum cost, right? So, from the given graph, our goal is to find the minimum cost spanning tree, right? So this algorithm works on the greedy approach. Greedy approach is basically approach in which the algorithm or user's perspective is to get maximum profit from that, right? Or to reduce the effort. Uh, Prim's algorithm considered node as a single tree and apply shortest path first approach to make minimum spanning tree, right? So in uh, Prim's algorithm, it considers node as a single tree. Basically in Kruskal's algorithm, what we are seeing their edges are considering as a single tree and in which we are taking edges which have mini, uh, which are having minimum cost but here we will take any node we can start from any node and we can uh, get our minimum spanning tree basically the difference if you will see in solving pro uh, procedure of prims and kruskal kruskal basically considers on edges but the Prim's consideration will be on the nodes, right? So let's see how to solve Prim's algorithm, uh, any problem of given graph using Prim's algorithm, right? Suppose we have given graph like that and we have to make minimum spanning tree from that, right? So our step one means algorithms part one, step one will be take any vertex and find adjacent vertex with minimum cost from that. So take any vertex, we have taken here vertex number two. Now from vertex number 2, our goal is to find minimum adjacent side. Means the adjacent of 2 is 2 to 1, 2 to 4, 2 to 3 and 2 to 5. From this we have to take only the minimum cost. So the minimum cost edge is this 22 to 3. So we have take this uh, 2 to 3 and we have a draw in in our MST right. So this is our step 1. Now in step 2 is now we have 2 as a node and 3 as a node. Now we have to take the node which have, now we have to take edge which have minimum edge now, minimum cost on the edge. So the adjacent of 2 is again 2 to 1, 2 to 4 and 2 to 3. 2 to 3 is already taken by us and 2 to 5 is there. Now adjacent of 3 is 3 to 4 and 3 to 5, right? So from all the available edges, the minimum cost we are getting that is 30. You can also consider this 60, but this is not minimum, right? So we have ignored that. Now we have to take the 30 because it is the minimum edge now from all these two available nodes. So after taking this 30 because it was the minimum uh, adjacent node uh, adjacent edge from all these two available one, we have taken it in our MST. So our MST is now of three node, right? Now in next step, what we have to do, we have two as a node, three as a node, and five as a node in our side, right? Two, three, five. Now from this two, three, five, we have to take the minimum adjacent cost. So minimum adjacent will you will get 10, four, four, 5 to 4. So we have considered this node, right? Now after this, we are available with these four nodes and we have to consider the next list weight. Now let's see what are the next list weight, which is 40. Means we can consider 4 to 3. But if we will, we already have 3 and we already have 5 and we already have 4, right? We have this. But if you will consider this 40, this will make a loop. But our Prim's algorithm works on uh, basically MST property. The MST property says that if you are considering, if you are drawing, if you are making MST, then it should not consider any cycle or any loop. But it are here, what happens? It making a loop. So we will not consider this 40 as an edge here. Now we will take onwards. We are getting 50, but after getting 50, we already have 2, we already have 3, we already have 5. So if we will join 2 to 5, what will happen? It will again make loop, right? So we will also ignore this 50. After that, we are getting age 2 to 4, that is 60 on its wage, right? But if we will consider this also, then it will make a loop like that, right? 2, 3, 5, 4. So we will also ignore that. And now we are left with only this edge, that is 1, 2, 2. 
Now after joining 1 to 2 with the weight 70, we are getting our complete spanning tree. Why? Because we have the here uh, uh, scored all the no nodes. We have visited all the nodes and we have connected all the nodes here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So our final MST here is this. Now I have discussed this example with Kruskal's algorithm also in our previous lecture. So you will match the MST with that. So you will find that the MST is getting same. However, you can get your MST different, but the overall cost of MST and number of total nodes will be same in that also, right? So if you will calculate the cost of this minimum spanning tree, 10 plus 30, 40 plus 20, 60 plus 70, 130. In your, in, when we have solved this with Kruskal's algorithm, there also we are getting minimum cost is 130. So if you want to study comparatively the Kruskal's algorithm with Prim's algorithm as both are using greedy approach and both are using uh, MST properties but the one is considering on nodes and that one is considering with A. So you can comparative study by study that one also right. So further if you have any kind of doubt or query you can ask to us so that we can solve your doubt and query on our social pages right now let's see the important nodes Kruskal's algorithm can be shown to run at if we are using Kruskal's algorithm and if we are running the Kruskal basically our goal is we have given graph and we have to make a spanning graph from that our basic goal is from the given graph we have to remove the edge we have to remove the nodes which we have already considered into our new spanning tree right so if we are using adjacency matrix in that so for if you will use adjacent symmetric the time complexity will be order of v square right v, v here is vertex and e here is edges so order of v square would be there for adjacent metric because every time we are using comparison to vertex that what are the minimum edge possible to its adjacent side right now if we will use binary heap and adjacency list our time running complexity running time complexity would be order of v plus e log v and you can also say that here order of e log v why because the vertices and edges here if you will see we are comparing both of them right simultaneously that if we are considering for example in this first we have take this edge after that we are taking all the possibility edges of this and again we are considering all the nodes and taking edges so basically the role of edges here equals to the role of uh, nodes right now if we will use fibonacci here for adjacency list our running time complexity would be order of e plus v log v right so if you are using a uh, matrix right uh, uh, array 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 implementation then order of v square would be there uh, that a running time complexity using array would be order of v square right so i think this would help you in noting down important points further an important point it is Prim's algorithm in every step will generate connected graph, right? Actually in Prim's algorithm every time we are getting connected node but when we have solved this example with Kruskal's algorithm we are getting disconnected graph meanwhile but after getting complete MST we are getting connected, right? So don't worry about it when we will solve with Kruskal's algorithm we may get a gap between the edges we may get disconnected graph but after getting MST complete MST we will get a connected graph, right? And Prim's algorithm basically focus on nodes. So I hope you have understood this, all the steps of algorithm, what we are follow here and the important points and the uh, important nodes which we have discussed. Further, if you want to learn any important topic, you can comment to us. We will try to solve your doubts very early, right? Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.